In this video I will show you why I use Bluehost for most of my WordPress websites and how you can build a premium WordPress website in minutes. What's up my friends, Sammar here and as I told you, most of my WordPress websites are hosted in Bluehost. You can see this one, this one, this one as well and this one as well. Lots of my websites are hosted in Bluehost and this is because of the following. I have a free SSL certificate for each new website I build in the same hosting account. So you can build tens of websites in the same hosting account and each one of those websites will have a free SSL certificate. And you can see that if you click on the get started button and then if you want to like build multiple websites on the same hosting account you have to use the plus package because the basic package will give you only the chance to build one website but if you go with the plus uh, package you will have unlimited websites and another thing that is very important is that it auto renews at a regular rate so if you pay 5.95 a month now you will pay the same price for the future years to come which is not the case for most of the other hosting companies you pay a price today when you are a new customer and then when it renews it goes the price goes up another thing I told you about is the SSL certificate every website you build on the same hosting package will have its own certificate SSL certificate which is very important because your website will show HTTPS and this lock here instead of a warning message so you need the SSL certificate now as I told you you will have to you can build unlimited websites you will have unlimited SSD storage which is very fast you can also have some custom themes but I will talk about the themes in a, a little bit now the customer support or the technical support is one of the best in the world so Bluehost are really known for for the customer support and technical support. You will have also one free domain for one year. You have the content network for free, so your your content is like ho is hosted or saved in multiple uh, places so that it will be very fast to load. So these are mainly the reasons why I love this package here, the plus package from Bluehost. And if you want to check it out, there is a link in the description below and also in the first comment. Now let's go ahead and see how you can build a premium WordPress website in few minutes. And before I get into the details, please, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe like the video and or drop a comment it will be very appreciated so now when you create your bluehost account and then you log in for the first time you can go here to where it says my websites of course you will find nothing here because you don't have any websites yet but what you need to do to create your first website is click on this blue button here saying create a website and now it will suggest some uh, uh, like features but you want to say no go to WordPress and here is where you start building your premium WordPress website and the first thing you need to enter here is the site name the name of your website of course you know exactly what your website will be about and then you not you need to put your uh, this the name of your website on the first field here and you put a tagline on the second field here so I put just for training this is an example website and here is one important thing that you should do you click on the advanced here and then you put an email address where 
where you will receive your notifications and everything well the website will communicate with you and then here wordpress admin username and the password are used to log into the back office of your website or the back end of your website i'm not talking about the uh, bluehost back office but each wordpress website will have its own admin panel where you can add and remove the content you can set up lots of things about your specific website and the advice i'm going to give you here is to choose a specific admin username so if you keep it just like that it will be admin as username and then you get a password but um it's a very good thing if you don't put admin here put something specific like for example amar and then um sorry amar and then you put a dash and then you put something else but it's something like that is complicated and this is for security reasons because hackers they just assume that the wordpress username is admin and then they start guessing the password so if we change the username to something else it will complicate things for the hackers so i just uh, put mr dash training and then i put a password and then i click on the next button all right so on this page you will choose the website or the domain name that you want to install the new website for and in your case it will be only the domain name that you bought or that you purchased when signing up but in my case i have many websites and i'm going to actually use this one here called affiliatesrated.com but since there is already a website there i'm going to put it on a subdirectory. let's call it training so the website will be affiliatesrated.com slash training so the website will be installed in a subdirectory called training now this will suggest uh, to use a few plugins but i prefer i mean going for the plugins later after i install the website and everything so i'm going to untick all these and then press next now it's building the website we need to wait for a few minutes and now it's done and it says congratulations uh, wordpress installed successfully so you have your username for the admin panel the password you have the website url which is affiliatesrated.com slash training and you have the admin panel here affiliatesrated.com slash training slash wp dash admin here is where you access the admin panel of your new website and if you want to check your new website the front end you go to this url let's open it so when we open the new website on a new page this is exactly what we see and it says here a new wordpress website and it says it's coming soon we will go to the admin panel and uh, customize our website let's open the admin panel so select this uh, url and open it on a new tab it will uh, uh, show the admin panel for this specific website so what i'm going to do i'm going to grab the username that i that i used for this specific website and then i will type the uh, password one quick second so all right let's click on login and in a few seconds you will see the back end of your website which is this one here so here you can add or remove content you can add remove themes templates uh, plugins users lots of things that you can lots of things that you can manage from this back end here so now let's go ahead and build our premium website and the first thing you want to do is head to appearance and install a specific theme so i'm going to click on themes 
and then you will see some options like the previous themes and you have this button here to add a new theme so click on this button and on the search bar you can type the word Astra and once you type that you will see the first one here at the left hand side all you have to do is click on install and then activate so when I click on activate this theme here will be activated instantly so now this is the active theme the second thing you want to do is head to plugins and then click on add new and on the search bar you want to type starter templates starter templates like here and you will see it here on the left hand side starter templates with elementor so click on install and then it will ask you which editor you want to use after you activate of course and my uh, for me I like to use Elementor so now we install the Astra theme and also we install the plugin called starter templates these starter templates will install with them the Elementor editor the one that will allow you to change the content of your pages but first let's choose one of these starter templates that suits your needs and uh, like looks like the content you want to put on your new website and as you can see here these are fully completed websites that you can use I mean they are there are some of them that are not free the ones that you see here agency these are not free so it's good if you click here on this arrow and then click on free and here you can see only the free websites that you can use so let's say for example you are a freelancer like it says here freelance copywriter roofing services life coach online programming courses you will find something that has uh, a relation with the content of your future website this is for example custom printing accountant windows and door services let's take the one that says freelancing so if I click on it you will see that this is a four pages website and then if you click on this button here saying import complete website you will have instantly a website looking like this and all you have to do after that is customize the content you can change this picture you put the picture of yourself change the title the taglines all the content of the pages are customizable if you don't like this one you can go back and then choose another one let's say for example you want to do something that has with yoga or you are a yoga instructor or any other website that you like on this list here if I click on this one here this is a three pages website if I go to the music for example this is a five pages website let's say I want to use this one all you have to do is click on import the complete website and then you will have to wait a little bit until it installs but before you if you already installed one of those premium websites all you have to do is click on this one here delete previously imported and click on import it will ask you for your name and your email address you can skip this and then now it is actually installing the new website on your domain name so let's give it a minute and then come back to it and now it has been done and it says hooray the website imported successfully and it says here view the website so if I, if I click here I will see the front end of the new website and as you can see it is completely done it has all the content on it and it has the footer here area where there are the pages the contact information there is a menu on the top as well if you want to click on this page here guitars it will take you to the page that shows the guitars and then if you go to contact there will be a contact form for you so in a few minutes you got a premium website installed 
on your domain so this is the fastest way to get a high quality website using wordpress and using bluehost hosting bluehost for me is the best one it has a very good speed it has a, a lots of options so if you are interested please click on the link below in the description or in the first comment and if you have any other questions please drop them in the comment section below and i will see you on the next video